The Langston River flowed free and wild till the Calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Riverbanks swarming with windbags. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous ferry barge is still afloat. Weeping Nelly. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. A security skiff pulls up port side. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. Try to cut her off. They try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Well, Weeping Nelly tries harder. Try as she might, though, she hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. Spot for a break, because the core is right there. Security skiffs keep on coming, starboard side. 
Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Solid ground. Solid ground and bigger country. They want that core real bad. Might be they want it just as bad as a kid. Kid shoes them off, knowing they'll be back. Know how many times a kid nearly fell off the bar back there? Four times. And close. You should remember this next part. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man. Or plain old fool to venture out that far. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. just yearn to see the things they're told they can. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? Get here something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go again? Yeah, that's the one.
Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. Besides, it's like the song goes. They'll be here before too long.